The case which I call the Norwood Builder began for us in a very dramatic way. Holmes and I had just finished a late breakfast one morning and we were talking in our sitting room in Baker Street. Holmes was about to open his morning newspaper when he heard a lot of noise outside. A moment later, someone was knocking at the door very hard. Then the door opened and a young man rushed in. His face was pale and his fair hair and his clothes were untidy. His blue eyes were frightened. He had obviously been running and he was breathing heavily. You've got to help me, Mr. Holmes, he said desperately. The police are following me. Oh, the scandal will break my poor mother's heart. Sit down, please, Holmes said. This is my friend and helper, Dr. Watson. Please, tell us who you are. I'm that most unhappy man, John Hector McFarlane, he replied. He obviously thought that we would recognise the name, but we did not. Mr. Holmes, if the police arrive, please make them wait, the young man went on. Don't let them arrest me until I've told you my story. Why do they want to arrest you? asked Holmes in surprise. What crime will they charge you with? They'll charge me with murder, Mr. Holmes, but I haven't killed anyone, he replied. But I will be happy to go to prison if I know that Sherlock Holmes is investigating my case. Holmes is a tall, thin man with long fingers and a long neck. His eyes are like a fierce bird's eyes. Now, he looked very carefully at our visitor. I know that you're not married and that you're a lawyer, said Holmes. I know that your lungs are not good, but I know nothing else about you, and I do not recognise your name. I knew my friend's methods. I could understand what he was thinking. The man's clothes were untidy, so he was probably unmarried. We could see that there was legal papers in his pockets, so he was certainly a lawyer. We could hear his heavy breathing, so it was obvious that he had an illness of the lungs. Everything that Holmes had said was obvious, but the young man seemed surprised. That's amazing, he said. But if he'd opened your newspaper this morning, you would have recognised my name. The man opened the newspaper, which Holmes had put on the table, and pointed dramatically to a headline. Then he held the paper up so we could both see it. Mysterious crime committed in Norwood. A well-known builder is missing. The police think that he has been murdered and they are searching for a suspect. And I am the suspect, our visitor said. Your case sounds interesting, said Holmes, looking very pleased. Watson, please read the newspaper article. I read what was in front of me. Mr. Jonas Oldacre, from the district of Norwood, has disappeared. The police suspect that he has been murdered. Mr. Oldacre is a man in his fifties who has lived in Norwood on the southern edge of London for many years. He owns a building firm there. Recently, he seems to have stopped working as a builder and he rarely meets anyone. Mr. Oldacre lives alone except for an elderly woman who is his housekeeper. Yesterday evening, he was visited at home by Mr. John Hector McFarlane, a lawyer who works in central London. Then, very early this morning, a fire was discovered in a timber store behind Mr. Oldacre's house. All the wood in the store was burnt, but when the firemen had put out the flames, no one could find Mr. Oldacre. He had not slept in his bed, and a safe which he kept in his bedroom had been opened. The police found some blood in the bedroom, and they also found a heavy walking stick, which belongs to Mr. McFarlane. There was some blood on the walking stick too. A door leading from Mr. Oldacre's bedroom to the garden was open. There were some marks on the ground outside it, which led towards the timber store. The police think that something heavy was pulled across the garden towards the store. This morning, some strange pieces of burnt flesh were found among the burnt wood. The police do not know if the flesh is human, but they fear the worst. They are searching for Mr. McFarlane. They believe that he killed Mr. Oldacre and started the fire to burn his body. Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard is the policeman investigating the case. 
I'm surprised that you haven't been arrested already, Mr. McFarlane, said Holmes, when I had finished reading. I haven't been to my office this morning, our visitor replied, and I haven't been to my home. It was very late when I left Mr. Oldacre last night. I live in Blackheath, on the eastern edge of London with my parents. I wasn't able to get back there, so I stayed at a hotel in Norwood. This morning, I saw the newspaper and I read about Mr. Oldacre's disappearance. And I read that the police were searching for me. I decided to come straight here to consult you. I think that the police were following me when I turned into Baker Street. He stopped for a moment. Then he added, Please help me, Mr. Holmes. I need to protect my mother from a scandal. At that moment, there was a noise on the stairs outside, and our sitting room door was thrown open. Inspector Lestrade rushed into the room. There were two policemen behind him. Mr. John Hector McFarlane, I arrest you for the murder of Mr. Jonas Oldacre, Lestrade said. <laughs>